Um, last night on the show, we had also tried to sound a little bit of a warning about the possible weirdness of the president's trip to Ireland today after he left the UK. Um, you'll recall that President Trump had tried to demand that the Irish prime minister should meet him at the Trump golf course in Ireland so that not just the government of the United States, but the government of Ireland would also be roped into a free infomercial advertising the location and amenities of the president's for-profit golf club in Ireland, um, which frankly apparently needs the boost financially. That golf course has been sort of a disaster. Uh, the Irish government declined the opportunity to help President Trump market his golf course. They said, no, we are not going to send the prime minister there. They instead offered a nearby castle where other foreign leaders have paid official visits in the past. The White House apparently did not like that idea. And so we knew it was going to be a little weird today when we found out that the president's meeting with the prime minister was going to be literally at the VIP lounge at the Shannon Ear Curtain behind them. But... I don't know if that's like a whiteboard behind them, behind the curtain, or what that is. You can tell this is kind of just like next to the vending machines. Um, it was it, the setting and the negotiations that led to the meeting in the first place were weird. And then the president started to talk. We'll be discussing uh, various things. Probably you'll ask me about Brexit because I, I just left uh, some very good people that are very much involved with Brexit, as you know. And I think that'll all work out. It'll all work out very well. And also for you, with your wall, your border. Uh, I mean, we have a border situation in the United States, and you have one over here. But I hear it's going to work out very well. <sighs> with your wall, with your border, the president meeting with the Irish prime minister in Ireland, the first words out of his mouth at that meeting are about how Ireland, you know, ought to have a wall on its border. Or don't you have a wall on your border? How's your wall? Have you guys thought about your border? I mean, just erase your mind for a second. Forget everything you might have ever heard or ever known about Ireland and Northern Ireland. Like, right, I mean, any political sensitivities, right? Even if you bleach your brain to the point where nothing is left in terms of cognizance of what might potentially be a sensitive subject there, even still, in this hypothetically lobotomized state right now where you have had your brain wiped of all knowledge about Ireland, Northern Ireland, and the question of potential border wall there, you still, with this hypothetical lobotomy, would still not sit down with the Irish Prime Minister and suggest first words out of your mouth. Hey, you know, your border wall is going to be awesome. It's not like Ireland and Northern Ireland have ever had an issue around that border. There's never been any sort of conflict there, right? Ireland, Northern Ireland, that's all been cool. The first thing he said, I mean, part of the Brexit disaster is that if the UK leaves the European Union, well, Northern Ireland is part of the UK. And so in Brexit, particularly no deal Brexit, Northern Ireland will go with the UK when they leave the European Union. Northern Ireland will leave the European Union. And of course, Ireland is still in the European Union. So if the UK presses ahead with Brexit, particularly the way the president wants them to, which is no deal, catastrophic Brexit, one of the potential consequences of that is that the Northern Ireland six counties, right, will no longer be in the European Union while Ireland is still in the European Union. And that means the border, the dividing line, the customs line between Europe and not Europe, between the EU and not the EU, could be the line between Ireland and Northern Ireland, where there is not a wall today. And that's very hard won, where the disputed idea of a border between the six counties in the north and the rest of the counties in the south has quite recently, within, you know, my lifetime, been the cause of thousands of lives lost. Nevertheless, the president today jumps into it with both feet. It'll all work out very well with your wall, your border. The Irish prime minister sat sort of perfectly still while the president made those initial remarks. Uh, and then this was the first thing he was able to get out of his own mouth at today's bilateral meeting. The main thing you want to avoid, of course, is, is going to border our wall between... No, I think you do. I think so. you... Oh, yes, you do want to avoid... Yes, I think you do, yes. Uh, the Prime Minister later had to give separate and more elaborate remarks to further try to clean up and limit the damage of what President Donald Trump did with those comments, suggesting a newly built, 
a rebuilt wall between Ireland and Northern Ireland. I mean, it was just, it's just, if you have any sense of that conflict and what it has taken to resolve it to the degree that it is resolved, again, over the course of our lifetimes, right? This is recent stuff, current stuff. For any prominent American in any position, even just somebody in a business position, somebody in sports, to have gone over to Ireland and have done that. It's just a, it would be a terrible thing for any American of any prominence to have done. But for a president to have done it? I mean, with those careless, reckless, ignorant remarks alone, uh, this president earned this headline today at Esquire magazine, quote, the president is traveling the world, finding new problems to make worse.